Now, many ch children who fail reading and writing tests at primary school may be suffering from undiagnosed dyslexia. A study by Hull University of 1,300 children said over half those who did badly in SATS tests were at risk of dyslexia. The research has led to calls for more specially trained teachers in schools. James Westhead has the details. Hello and welcome everyone. And you are listening to Grove FM. It may not seem much, but for 11-year-old Lenny, this is a miracle. Three years ago, he could barely read at all. He failed his SATS tests and was halfway through primary school before anyone even noticed that he was dyslexic. It was really frustrating because the other children could read and write perfectly and I was just left behind in the class and I was like really embarrassed to put up my hand and ask for questions. And Lenny's not alone. When researchers screened pupils who had failed SATS tests, most, 55%, had learning difficulties, mainly dyslexia. They conclude the condition's a major cause of failure that could be remedied yet is largely ignored. And specialist dyslexia teaching can make a huge difference. Track. Track. That's a good word, isn't it? That, word. These children have just received 10 hours, and already Elwyn's reading age has jumped by 14 months, David's by 10 months. By not being given this opportunity, quite often these children with specific learning difficulties are faced with failure in the classroom, and they continue to fail and fail and fail, and if, if they don't experience success, then they start to opt out later in life. Ministers today promised they would do more for dyslexia if pilot schemes prove effective. If the evidence is clear, we will definitely act, but it's really important that we understand exactly um, the right way to help these children. Campaigners say this research proves that specialist dyslexia teaching like this should be spread throughout all schools, but the government says the jury's still out on whether it's the best way of dealing with poor reading. James Westhead, BBC News. Well, Kate Griggs is from the dyslexia charity Extraordinary People who commissioned that research. Um, given those results, were you surprised by that, by the number of children who may have these kind of dyslexia and all the rest of it? Um, no, we weren't surprised no. at all. Figures in America um, are very much in line with what we found, so no, we weren't surprised. How much of it is actually dyslexia and how much of it are other problems? Well, what we found in this report is that 55% of children failing their SATs are at risk of dyslexia, so it's a very specific problem that these children have. So what do you think should be done about it? We talk about more specially trained teachers. Is it there are just not enough? There aren't enough, no, and every school does need to have a member of staff skilled up um, as a dyslexia specialist. And I was taught 30 years ago in the way that the children are being taught in, in the programme that you've just shown. Mm. It is, it's ridiculous to say we don't have enough evidence. All the dyslexia charities are supporting this call for a specialist in every school. The evidence is absolutely there. Um, and you've got children as well. They are also dyslexic. Have you really noticed a difference in the way and the kind of treatment they get and all the rest of it or not? Completely. They're doing fantastically at school. Children can succeed enormously if they're given the specialist support. And our huge worry is that there's a billion pounds being spent by the government right now on personalised learning. They can't personalise learning for dyslexic children until they deal mm. with training the teachers. And what happens, do you think, to children who perhaps do have dyslexia? dyslexia but aren't diagnosed with it, what kind of effect does that have on them? I think it, um, it puts them into a spiral of failure basically which, which can affect their behaviour. Um, an awful lot of children in young offenders institutions and, and people referral units are dyslexic so that's you know, the really worst case. Okay, Kate Griggs, thanks very much. Thank you.